More on that breaking news from Route 7 now. News 9's Gage Golding is live on scene of an accident with more Gage. Good evening, Rich and Kate. Thank you. Like we said, we're going to continue to follow this, and this is the latest thing that we can show you right now. Uh, take a look at this vehicle. You can see through just an array of emergency responders, including police, firefighters, uh, emergency medical uh, technicians. This is what appears to be a Ford Taurus sedan, a uh, darker colored sedan. You can actually see the roof is actually taken off. It's sitting here on the ground right next to it. It seems to have collided with the side of the trailer of this vehicle. Uh, somehow coming across the intersection. We're not sure how the accident actually took place, but what we do know is that there have been at least three medical helicopters that have landed here on State Route 7 and uh, flown patients out. We've seen numerous ambulances coming and leaving from the scene. So a very active scene here. Uh, this is off the interchange of I-470. Here's the I-470 bridge right here. So if you're coming off I-470, you're trying to get on State Route 7 and go north or south, the only way you can go right now is north. They are not letting anybody go south. Now, the other tricky thing is if you're in Bel Air trying to head north, going up towards Bridgeport on State Route 7, they are holding traffic south of this accident. So there is no travel on State Route 7 north at the scene of this interchange. Uh, we have no idea. Officials haven't told us when they're going to reopen this road or what the timetable is on that. As I say now, they are still working on triaging and helping patients uh, getting those to the medical helicopters. We're going to continue following this story. The best place to get that is at WTOB9.com and of course on Facebook and Twitter at WTOB9. For now reporting in Belmont County for News 9 at 6, I'm Gage Golding.